These boots have seen everything. Always room for more? Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. are rising. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. You and me both. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. Left out all the important bits, like beware. Treasures beneath a pile of goblins. Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the ass end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. Should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Boulder's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. Have at it, if you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Gif, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? 
My name is Lady Selk Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for service. They will help you, but only if you can. I need a quick word. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Doesn't ring a bell. Why? The patriarch of the Tsar family. Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. I imagine they are. Moving ahead. Might be useful. Horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karnak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. 
Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Ooh, I'm getting all het up. Let's make tracks. Well, that ends not as bad as it could. Carlax got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. I expect I am your first. And they didn't cut you from navel to neck. Well, perhaps they were otherwise occupied. I am still getting used to people like you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake.
decadent then, lacking in economy, like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. A devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. So, Will, now that we've made peace, how about we get to know each other properly? What's your story? Not so much a story as a pantomime. And I've played my part all too poorly. I would too. Go on, Will. We're listening. Who sicked you on me? You're not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to your throat, Karlak. You make it sound like a harvest of devils coming for you, Will. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll face my penance. And you'll have them, but I can't promise you'll like them. At the ready. Hmm. I'll take that. Key. Wonder what it opens. Whoever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. of use your sour face is tiring shadow heart by all means leave if i am so distasteful i'd rather not turn my back on you if it's all the same No more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home.
I'll tell you whatever you wish to know. Just let us live, please. Oh, uh, this is rich. They serve the archdevil Zario. Biggest liar in all the realms. Seems her servants have picked up some of Mummy's tricks. Believe me, these sneaky fucks won't stop till they have me hogtied at her feet. It isn't true. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit we ambushed you. An assignment from our god, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! I wonder if this is worth the cost. Very well. I'm ready. You're mine. Two steps at a time. Bye forever, pal. Tactical. Get too close. Need to act fast. Moving. Munda for the people. Survival is all that matters. Let's have some cup.
need to find a way forward. No holding back. Let's finish this. <laughs> Go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> I ought to do it. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Uh! Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Burn, baby. As hot as I can tolerate. Makes me a beast in battle. Hardly remember what I was like before it. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip. There was an infernal mechanic in the area, a tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. <laughs> 